Where will the photographer community go? Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all having amazing creative days. Today I want to talk about something that's near and dear to my heart. That's you guys, fellow content creators, specifically photographers, and specifically the photography community. What's happened to it? Where's it gone? Where's it going? What's happening? I mean, obviously everyone knows what's going on with Instagram right now and how they've changed their algorithm to promote short form video and they're kind of ignoring the photographers. And also like the way their content is curated, it's hard to find other photographers. I don't know, the whole thing has changed and the community is kind of disbanded. And in this video, I wanna kind of talk about what happened, what could happen, where are we gonna go, what's next, what's, you know, let's figure things out because as a community, we can sort of decide where we wanna all meet up and what's gonna be the next app for us. and. How do we want to grow and communicate and help each other? And yeah, I think that's the important thing. So that's what I want to talk about in this video. And obviously, if you have differing opinions or you want to comment on anything I say, leave it in the comments below. I encourage that. I like talking to all my subscribers and fellow content creators. So leave your comments down below. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about what happened here and i'm not going to spend too much time here because i think for those of us who have been in the industry a long time we know what happened uh, for me i've been a photographer 18 years my favorite times as a photographer were back in 2010 before the instagram thing happened Flickr was kind of like the place to be if you're a photographer and you know it was kind of cool because everyone on Flickr, if you were there you were interested in photography you wanted to be a photographer or you're an aspiring photographer or you love the craft you love the art you wanted to learn so everybody on there was kind of had the same intentions right and then instagram came along i think they launched in 2010 and they got bigger like 2012 2013 and just started blowing up and instagram kind of took the photography world by storm because it was a photo sharing app and a lot of us photographers ditched Flickr and jumped on instagram and we're sharing our photos there because I mean, if you're gonna create photos, you wanna share them. You don't wanna just like shoot photos and hoard them on your computer for nobody to see, right? So half the fun of shooting is sharing and Instagram was very good at that. And in the beginning, it was great for the photography community. We all went on there, we we're all sharing photos, tagging each other, and it was just, it was a different beast. But then over the years, I guess Instagram changed, right? And uh, the algorithm changed a couple years ago so it became curated so it no longer was just chronological all the photos that everyone you followed just popped up like chronologically it was like instagram deciding hey you know what i think you're gonna like this better or you're gonna like that better or you're gonna like this better and it became so strange because my buddies were all uploading their photos but i never saw any of their stuff like if they didn't upload consistently two three times a week they just kind of fell off the radar and disappeared and i'm like hey buddy did you give up as a, as a photographer? Did you retire? What happened? And they're like, oh no, I'm still posting, but I'm like, I don't see anything in my feed. And it just, it just, it was strange. It became a little weird. Instagram became weird over the last few years. And then now with the short form video, it just, it, it sort of like killed off the photography. And it's like officially, Instagram's officially saying, peace out photographers. We don't want you anymore. We want short form video. So uh, yeah, late. So you can still post. I don't mind, but we're not going to promote you. And that's kind of like, you know, it's a kick in the pants really, right? And the photography community recently has all, it feels like it's all just discombobulated. Everyone's off somewhere and it just, that, that cohesion's missing. So I watched this video by Peter McKinnon recently and I thought that was pretty cool. He talked about Vero and maybe that's like the new Instagram. Maybe that's a place where we can all connect. And I don't know, maybe I, I signed up, I set up an account uh, visually Vero, to me is like visual diarrhea like they take your photo and then they blur it in the background and create a color behind your photo and it just ruins the composition and the aesthetics and the lines because you know for us photographers composition doesn't matter at all we don't care i mean we use the rule of thirds to compose because we don't want people to notice it and if you make a busy background eh, whatever i don't know vero i don't know I, I set up an account we'll see what happens i mean i invite you guys to set up an account too Vero can obviously change over time. Who knows what will happen, but maybe it's a place for photographers to kind of connect, reconnect. If you have another suggestion, leave it in the comments down below. Maybe, you know, are we going to go back to Flickr? Is Flickr going to be a thing again, or is that completely dead? 
Is there another app that's good for photo sharing? I think right now, I mean, if there's a company out there that makes or wants to make a photo sharing app, now's the time to strike. You know, create your product, put it out there, make sure it's good. And maybe that's the next thing for photographers. For me right now, I'm gonna try out Vero and see what it's like. And I'm making this video because I wanna invite all of you guys to, to jump onto Vero and you can add me, my link will be down below. And I'll add you back and we'll see what happens. I mean, ultimately what I would love to see is the photography community go back to where it was in 2010, where you had a solid platform where all the photographers would, would connect and talk and interact and learn and grow. And I thought that was really cool. And for me personally, I think Instagram switching over to short form video is a fantastic opportunity for us photographers because before it was like a tight knit community of photographers. And then when Instagram came around, everybody became a photographer. So even the good photographers got lost in all the noise and with everyone, you know, there was just so much going on and so many photos. And there are people who are just like, I want to be famous on Instagram here. Here's my lunch. Here's my cat. Here's the cloud. Here's this. And it's just, there was a lot of nonsense on there. Now I'm not judging anybody or saying anything bad about anybody. It's just like, there was a lot of like other stuff in the whole Instagram pool of photos. But now that Instagram has kind of moved on to short form video, maybe the photography community will come back together and it'll, you know, we'll create something or we'll find a place where it's just photographers and we can all go back to how it was in 2010 where it was a lot more fun because everyone you interacted with was, hey, I like photography too. Oh, I'm into shooting too, okay. And it was just, you know, a bunch of like-minded people in one place, not a bunch of different people all shooting photos for different purposes and different reasons. So I don't know, that's my thoughts. I think that, you know, Instagram moving on might be a good thing in the long run for a lot of us. Obviously it's a bad thing for those people who make money on Instagram. The influencers are really struggling right now. You make video or <laughs> it's bust, right? So anyway, yeah, those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is, it, uh, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, how do you feel about this whole Instagram moving to short form video? Are you in the same boat as me or <laughs> do you wish Instagram went back to the way it was? I don't know. And also, yeah, let me know in the comments below, where do you think, or where do you want to see the, the photography community go from here? I personally don't mind ditching Instagram and going somewhere else. Like we'll see how Vero goes. If Vero takes off and it becomes a nice hub for photographers, awesome. If it's another app, awesome. Wherever it is, let's go find it and let's make it strong and let's build that community. And then we can share ideas and stuff. Now, I know you're thinking this is YouTube, photography YouTube, but YouTube is kind of like Instagram in the sense that it's everything. It's everything. Like we need a place that's just photographers, right? And YouTube's awesome. I love YouTube, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying anything bad about YouTube, but it's nice to have, you know, your own thing kind of deal. All right, so that's it. That's the video. It's a little rambly, it's just a talking head, but uh, yeah, peace out. Thanks for watching. And hopefully we connect somewhere on some app soon. All right, <laughs> see you in the next one.